Hi everyone. Thanks again for a good week. I hope you don't mind the different angle I'm using. I got a new monitor actually and it's thrown off my webcam a little bit. What I just want to talk about really briefly today are what's up for this week, uh, a little bit on what's up for next week, and then I want to talk a little bit about some of the things we said in the discussion board about interviewing. Um, first off, thanks for pointing some of those things out. You know, I mean, I draw back on my career as a reporter a lot and I use some of those techniques and maybe that's why I didn't question whether they were sneaky or not. Uh, but, you know, if you look at them critically, which is what I want you guys to do, I mean, why I present this information, I, I see how you could see that. And what that brings out is the balance that reporters have to have. You know, reporters can't be all business and, you know, all gimme, 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 uh, but they definitely can't be smarmy. You know, they can't talk to people and you know, try to convince them to help them out without being willing to give back a little bit. I think about some of the best relationships that I had with sources as a reporter, and they were kind of give and take relationships, where both me and the source understood what our role was, and I understood what the other person's role was. Um, to put kind of a concrete face on that, there was one police officer who helped me out a lot. He gave me even some off the record tips about things that were going on. When he was named a drug enforcement officer and he received a drug dog, um, I did a feature story on him. I probably would have done it anyway. But I made it, I went out of my way to get some of the pictures that the photographer had taken of him and the dog. I put them in a cheap frame and gave them to him. And just as a way to say, thanks for helping me with this story and you know, thanks for just being a good source. And I think that was an ethical way of being a friend, but being a friend within a professional context. And I think that's really what, the, what I was trying to get at with the interviewing. Um, it's a balance that every reporter has to find for him or herself. Um, and it can be tricky. I worked with reporters who were, who were on both spectrums, who didn't even associate with people outside of work, um, who I had one great reporter who wouldn't accept a $5 lunch from another reporter, and I admired that. You know, um, I, I wouldn't have done that, um, not because I didn't think it was you know, it was just kind of along the lines of what I'm saying. You know, you want to be friendly, you don't want to come across as being too uptight. But then again, you know, I had an opportunity as an intern to accept a $500 reciprocating saw, and I wouldn't do that. I mean, I don't think, I think that's crossing the line. Um, I don't want to go into ethics too much, but it was a great topic that you guys brought up. Um, I do want to talk briefly about this week. Uh, we're finally getting the inverted pyramid to the writing styles. I know it seems like it's taken us a long time to get there, but I think most of you are probably familiar with it already. Um, if you're not, there's a good introduction, good introduction of what the nuts and bolts are of it. Uh, but I wanted to try to focus the discussion this week on why we do the inverted pyramid and what is it good for. And really, the best thing in a, uh, for young journalists is having them, you know, kind of forcing them to focus on the facts. You know, what elements of this story do I need to tell? And how can I f use those facts rather than my own opinions and my own justifications of what's going on? to convey information to people. That's really what the inverted pyramid is very good at. And I think we'll see that even more next week when we talk about some more advanced story forms. Um, you know, ways to use those same facts in a way that's not so formulaic and is a little bit more interesting to read. Um, this summer, I'm actually taking a class here at Ohio University for integrated language arts majors. Um, they're required to take an on, a news writing class, and they've really helped me to get some perspective on what news writing is and what it means. The only other thing that I want to mention before I let this video get too long is we're, we've kind of got a short week this week because Monday's an official holiday. Um, I'll still be here. I'll still be working. But because we're minus one day, I'm only requiring one original comment on the discussion board and then one comment on someone else's post on the discussion board. Um, everything else is as it always was. You'll have a, a blog due on Friday. Uh, the quiz will run from Tuesday to Saturday. And if you have any other questions about things, please let me know. I'm here, and I look forward to working with you and reading your posts. Thanks.